morning, everyone. Jack with Quick Home Motor Solutions. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, I'm out in Woodland, which is uh, uh, about three minutes from Route 95 and 495 here, um, just uh, south of Philadelphia. And uh, we're going to go take a look at this property. It's a three bedroom, one bath, um, a little twin here. And uh, we're going to go take a look inside. I'm inside of the living room, which is a decent sized living room. Uh, I'm going to guess this is at least 22, 24 by 14, 16, something like that. It's a pretty big size. Uh, there's, uh, as you'll see throughout here, there's there's faux wall coverings, ceiling coverings on everything. This is popcorn paint. Obviously, you can see there's an issue with something leaking here. Um, this is underneath of the, I think this came from the uh, from the sink upstairs. You'll, you'll see a little, there's a little plumbing going on there. This is a house that's been lived in for quite a while, uh, and not a whole lot been done with it. Unfortunately, it's uh, it's a short sale now, and we've got it under contract with the bank, and we're looking for somebody who wants to live in this place. Uh, it's real close to, for commuting, um, to the city, to anywhere, uh, Delaware, anywhere like that. It's like I said, it's right at the bottom of the Blue Route. So it's a uh, nice little starter home for a family, I think, but it needs some work if you're a contractor or you know a little bit about tools and stuff uh, you might be able to handle this this one's not too bad this is a this is an old kitchen older kitchen here old appliances uh, out back to this door there's a, a mud room back here you see which leads out to the little to, to the backyard old shed there and this is the other side of the mud room here always nice when you can have somewhere to come in and stomp your boots off before you come in the house and this would be the dining room, which is, uh, I don't know, about 18 by 10, I guess. And uh, we'll go take a look downstairs. This is about the only piece of new flooring. That this is this was recently refloored. Not the stairs done, but it was like some kind of a pergo or glue down. So it's, this is their semi-finished laundry room. That's where the dryer was. There's a gas hookup for that, the dryer vent. The washer went on the other side there. And they got a little wall built here. And uh, he's got a little workbench, a little work shelf, uh, work area in here. This leads out to the Vilcos for out back. And there's some room for some storage here. That's a brand, a pretty new water heater. Uh, 08, 62308, it was installed. The furnace looks a little older. Doesn't look, it doesn't look like it's been uh, serviced any time recently either. Uh, but either way, but it does have, sorry to swing you around, it does have, uh, you know, fairly updated, uh, um, electrical service, so that's pretty good. And the wiring's all tight. There's this, uh, luckily there's not a lot of stuff hanging down and, and so forth. The drop ceiling needs a little bit of a little bit of work, but the grids the grids seem pretty level, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard to get that back into shape. Coming back around, you got your coat closet here, and coming up the stairs to the three bedrooms, one massive bedroom. Two smaller bedrooms, a little closet at the top of the stairs. And uh, this is the first bedroom. This is more like a, this is perfect for a baby, which I have many of. This is uh, oh, about 10, 10 or 12 by, by about six and a half. And uh, so this, this is this is pretty, maybe seven feet. This is kind of small. Bedroom number two, again, it's kind of small with about 16, 18 by 10, I'm gonna guess. There's radiator heat throughout. And another closet. And we've got this uh, the, the shared bath upstairs, the only full bath in the house. Only bath in the house. Uh, needs to be remodeled. Leaks, old, old wet bed tile. It's usable, it looks usable for the time being, but it's definitely gonna have to get redone. Old, uh, just gonna hold everything. Wet bed, that's always fun. Again, more uh, more faux ceilings. This is an interesting faux ceiling here. Those little these little tiles. I mean, they're tight to the ceiling, but you definitely don't don't know what's going on underneath it there. And this is the the larger bedroom, which is well, as you can see, it's got pretty good size to it. I'm going to guess it's uh, 20 20 ish by oh, almost 14, 16 ish. And there's a closet over here. This one's a little bigger closet. It's got two sets of bars. For a master here, so it's great for a little kid, a baby, and a and a and a, and a couple, 
or single parents as there's way too many of these days but um, I guess I can take it just to look out back real quick at this window it's a, it's a relatively small backyard the lot the lot size is pretty small you can get a more information on our website or give us a call if you want to look into it uh, it's woodland uh, it's a nice little area pretty close to the city like I said great for commuting everywhere and there's lots of stuff to do around here it's down on McDade Boulevard uh, neat little clubs and restaurants all kinds of neat stuff so um, we'll catch up with you guys later on give us a call 267-404-2125 see us on Facebook uh, number of ways to get us so we'll talk to you guys soon hope you like it see ya